Hey everybody, CW here, Card Wolf, because I'm always on the hunt for great cards. And I think we're going to find some today. We are getting into something that I'm pretty excited to open, I have to be honest with you. This is something I've had for many years, and uh, wow, it's probably my favorite Topps Archives product. This is 2012 Topps Archives Baseball, and this is a nice blaster box of this. It's got eight packs in here. If you've never seen this open before, you're in for a real treat on Anything Can Happen Day here, which we do every Thursday on the channel. And this is, uh, I always like to do something a little unexpected, and I hope that this is unexpected enough for you. I've had this for quite a while, and uh, boy, I, I'm, I'm excited to get into this. I was inspired to dig this out and, and actually open this on the channel, because uh, those of you who watch channel a lot maybe saw me a couple of weeks ago on Mail Day open a uh, bunch of 1977 style cloth stickers that had more modern players on them and different uh, players than than you might expect and those I, th I I think I misspoke on the episode and said they were from 2021 archives they're actually from 2012 archives from this series and uh, I, I was thinking about that and I thought I think I think I'll get out that box I've got that I never opened and uh, get into that and, and see. This is a great set of archives. It's it's not just great because it has all the vintage designs that you guys know I love so much, but it's also great because it has just a lot of different inserts. That uh, cloth sticker set is, is one of many. There's a 3D insert. There's uh, tops reprints. They have some buybacks you could get in here. There's there's all kinds of stuff. Uh, one of the best things about it, though, is the uh, list of people who autographed for 2012 Topps Archives, the list is uh, fantastic. They always do fan favorites autographs, as it says right on the box there. Uh, the list includes a lot of great players, but of special note, uh, Hank Aaron, Willie Mays, and Sandy Koufax all signed for this product. That is ridiculous. I mean, when is the last time you opened uh, a Topps product that on all three of those guys, you know, as potential autographs that you could pull. I mean, that is crazy. Uh, the relics are also really good in this. So uh, the best one, in my opinion, you could pull a bat relic of Roberto Clemente, which is just amazing. I mean, really, really great stuff in here. I'm, I'm super excited to open this. As I said, I think it's probably my uh, favorite set of Topps Archives, which is saying a lot because I really enjoy uh, Topps Archives, one of my favorite products every year that it comes out. And uh, this was this was a banner year for the product. So we'll get Mr. Kershaw to open that up for us. As always, practice good knife safety. Keep those blades out of the reach of small children. And uh, who's on the front here? Wally Joyner. Keep it out of the reach of Wally Joyner. You never know what he's going to do. So let's get into this. As, as it says right there on the box, you get eight packs out of this product so that is pretty sweet a lot of packs to open and uh, see what this looks like on the inside there are the packs and as you can see there's lots of room in the box i mean you could easily fit uh i don't know you could fit one of those big flashlight batteries in there probably you know the the sort of square ones that uh easily fit into flashlights. So I'll pop that box over there. I don't know if I have any more of that. And here are what the packs look like. Kind of remind me of 1980 baseball packs and uh, 1980 design is used on some of the cards in here. So that is appropriate, certainly. Doesn't feel like any of these have a, a mem card in them or anything like that. So uh, just kind of leave these mostly in the uh, order they came in. Very, very fun product, and uh, I appreciate you coming and joining me on this rip today here on the Card Wolf Network on Thursday, which is Anything Can Happen Day on the channel. So this is a fun thing to happen. We got Clay Butchholz starting us off here in the 1971 Tops design you see there. And the backs of these are very similar. Also look like the uh, 71 design. In the 1980 design, we've got Ivan Nova, from the Yankees, a uh, pitcher back in the day. As you can see, the back also looks like the 1980 design. So they really, I mean, just did a great job with these cards. There's a nice one. Nolan Ryan in the 1984 Topps design. That is a sweet pull right there. Very happy with that. Put that in the Wolf Lair. And there's Melky Cabrera 
from the Giants, and that's in the 1954 Topps design. Very nice to see that. Of course, 1954, originally the cards were a little bit bigger than standard size cards, so these are uh, all standard size cards, but still in the 1954 design. Oh, and then there's one of the inserts I was talking about right there. That is the Deckle Edge insert. That looks like uh, maybe Harmon Killebrew there. Let's check it. It is indeed Harmon Killebrew, so that is a, a pretty cool insert to get. Uh, I don't remember pulling a lot of those back when I opened this product in 2012. So that's a, a pretty nice pull there. Our first insert is a pretty cool one. And in the 1980 design, we've got Ike Davis of the Mets, followed by Yogi Berra in the 1984 design. That's a pretty cool card as well. And uh, Billy Butler finishes things off there. Billy Butler looking very wistful on that 1954 design. You can see the backs just like the 1954 cards. So uh, there's our first pack. Very nice first pack. Man, I'm just smiling ear to ear as I open this. I, I remember how much I loved this product and uh, I still I feel like it is the, uh, I don't know, I, th I think it's, if not the best, it's certainly one of the best of the uh, archives products that Topps has ever done. Beautiful 1971 style Lou Gehrig card. That is a really cool card there. Love looking at that. And a beautiful 80 Ozzie Smith. Now, of course, in 1980, the Ozzie Smith card has him on the Padres. So this is pretty cool to see him on the Cardinals. Curtis of Positive Breaks is a huge Ozzie Smith collector. And Curtis, if you're watching and don't have this one, you have to talk to me about that. Maybe I can flow this your way. We got a Lou Gehrig and a Babe Ruth. Wow, that is pretty awesome. Get them out of the same pack there, Babe Ruth, and the 1984 Topps design. I think we pulled a Gehrig and a Ruth out of yesterday's Rip 2. If I'm not, if I'm remembering correctly, I think we pulled a Gehrig and a Ruth out of there. So neat to get uh, both of those players on the same back-to-back uh, -to -back days. Carlos Ruiz in the uh, 54 Topps design and a beautiful Willie Mays. That's in the 66 design and that is an insert so uh, that is pretty cool. That is one I'm really happy to have pulled. Really neat. And of course, the, uh, the back of that one is in the 66 design. And it's what's really neat is they only go up to 1965 in the stats. So it really does look like a 1966 card. That's pretty sweet. Very nice card. Put that in the Wolf Lair for sure. Anibal Sanchez in the uh, 71 design. And he looks like he is uh, up to something there. I don't trust that expression on Annabelle Sanchez. I don't know what kind of what kind of thing he's got going on there. We got 1980 design of Howie Kendrick, and we finish off with a rookie card of Brad Peacock in the 1984 design. Having a lot of fun opening this, in case you can't tell. I hope you guys are sitting back and uh, enjoying what is going on on the channel today. My camera is being uh, not very focusy. Sorry about that. Start off this one with Phil Rizzuto, another Yankee great, in the 1971 design. And there is another uh, A's rookie pitcher in the 1980 design, Jared Parker. And we get Lonnie Chisinau, the third baseman for the Indians in the 1984 design. And Madison Baumgartner, very good pitcher for the Giants there in the 54 design. Pretty cool card. And Ian Kennedy looking as though he's holding his breath for some reason. That is another insert, and that is the uh, 1967 Topps sticker design. Not particularly attractive cards in my opinion, but uh, that is an insert, and it's uh, probably the only one of that that we will get, uh, 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 that particular design. And I, I'm trying to figure out, it feels like this may actually be a sticker. I can't quite tell. The cardstock is very similar to the uh, regular cards, so I can't tell if that's actually a sticker or not, but it is an insert. I'll stick it over there. Drew Pomeranz from the Rockies. Looks like uh, he's, I don't know, he's searching for something. I'm not quite sure what's going on there. Johan Santana, good pitcher for the Mets, of course, and Ari Dickey in the 1980 design finishes off that pack. So we continue on through this 2012 blaster box of Topps Archives and see what else we can pull. Sean Markham, Sean Markham from the Brewers there in the 1971 design. Ben Zor Zobrist from the Rays, second baseman for them back then. Matt Kane, good pitcher for the Giants in the 1984 design. 
and Dan Heron, another picture there with the angels. Our insert is a Duke Snyder card, and uh, that is got the Topps Archives stamp on there, lest anyone be confused by that card. Pretty cool design there. I believe that's the, uh, I think that's the 56 design, if I'm not mistaken. You guys can correct me in the comments if I have that wrong, but another nice insert there. Brandon Morrow from the Blue Jays in the 84 design. Matt Moore, rookie card from the Rays, and Jordan Zimmerman in the 71 design finishes off that pack. I believe we've reached the halfway point of this blaster box. Still hoping that we pull, uh, be awesome to pull one of those autographs that I talked about at the top of the show. I haven't seen anything like that. Well, that is a card I was really hoping to get. I knew there was a Reggie Jackson in this set. If you follow the channel, you know I collect Reggie, so that is a huge card for me in the 1971 design. Reggie Jackson, that is a, that is a sweet pull. Very happy to get that one for my PC. Evan Longoria from the Rays, looking as though he has pulled some sort of muscle. I don't know, he looks he looks in pain or frightened or very, very sad. I'm not sure what's going on with Evan Longoria there. We got uh, Shane Victorino from the Phillies and Robinson Cano. Looks like he's ready to sell you a used car with that expression, Robinson Cano. And then we get, uh, what is this? This is one of the 3D cards. It's also Robinson Cano. We get back-to-back -back Robinson Cano. And uh, I think these 3D cards are really awesome. You can kind of see the 3D effect there as I move it that way. Very, very cool cards. Very happy to pull one of those. Uh, as I said at the beginning, the inserts for this are just out of this world. I think they're really, really good. Tori Hunter there with uh, the Angels. Always liked that player a lot. Steven Strasburg and uh, Brandon Beachy finish off there with two pitchers. We get to our next pack. Would love to pull another one of those 3D inserts, but uh, I think they're pretty tough pulls, so I don't know if we'll see another one of those. Not sure what other uh, inserts. I know there are several others we have yet to see, so uh, see what we get out of this pack. Andrew McCutcheon starts it off with uh, the Pirates, of course. George Brett, beautiful 1980 design of George Brett there. Uh, the 1980 George Brett card has sort of a profile shot of just his head, and uh, so that's a, a much different look for George Brett. Probably uh, PC that one. That's a beauty. Carlos Santana there with the Indians. Nelson Cruz in the 1954 Tops design, and there's our insert. It's Oscar Gamble in the 1982 design. That is a, a pretty sweet card, and uh, that is a high number. Anything above 201 is a high number for this set, and it's a short print, and there is a, a super short print of one card. It's uh, number uh, 241 is the uh, Bryce Hoskins rookie card, and that was a, a big deal, and still very, very tough card to find. So I'll put that in the insert stack. Drew Storen there, and Heath Bell, and uh, as Drupal Cabrera finishes that off shortstop there for the Indians. We get to our penultimate pack, second to last pack out of this 2012 Archives Blaster, something that uh, I can't imagine you've seen opened very much on the YouTubes, but uh, something I was very excited to get into today. Josh Beckett starts us off in this pack, good Red Sox pitcher. Cliff Lee, another pitcher there, and uh, David Price, it's a pitcher-heavy pack, that's for sure. And we got Corey Hart, who is not wearing his sunglasses at night. He is instead playing outfield for the Milwaukee Brewers. Corey Hart there. We get another insert. I believe this is one of the cloth sticker cards. Yes, it is. It's of uh, Giancarlo Stanton with the Marlins on that one. Pretty sweet pull to get another of those cloth stickers. I like those a lot. BJ Upton with uh, the Rays there on the 54 design. Irvin Santana, we got Carlos, and Irvin Santana looks as happy as he could possibly be. He looks like he can barely contain himself posing for this card for uh, the archive set. Finish off with Elvis Andrus in the 1980 design. We're down to our last pack of this very excellent and enjoyable product. At least it is for me. I certainly hope you guys are enjoying this as well. Some uh, players here that were very popular back in uh, 2012, but uh, may not be names you recognize these days. Adam Wainwright is one you should recognize. Very good pitcher for the Cardinals. That's a sweet card. J.P. Aaron Sabia 
for the Blue Jays there with his catcher's equipment on, and Starlin Castro for the Cubs, Jose Valverde for the Tigers, pitcher for them for a little while, and then here's Monty Irvin, very nice uh, archives card there, that's a beauty, and I believe that's a reprint card, that is, uh, I think, the Snyder, the Duke Snyder might have been a reprint card too, very uh, cool to see that, it's got the Topps Archives stamp on there, very nice Monty Irvin card that goes into the insert stack, Adam Lind for the Blue Jays, nice Wade Boggs card in the 54 design, that's a beauty, I like that one a lot, and uh, Matt Harrison finishes things off there with the Rangers, so very fun rip, a lot of uh, very neat cards, I'm already looking forward to going through this stack again, and uh, sorting these out, <laughs> that is, uh, that was a lot of fun, I was, I was really, uh, had debated whether or not I should open that, because those, uh, actually the blaster boxes are pretty rare, I tried to uh, find a comparison price on that to kind of see just what uh, I was going to be getting into, I didn't see any blaster boxes of that product available online anywhere, so pretty rare product to see, there were some hobby boxes available, and they were in the uh, $350, $360 range, so uh, imagine the blasters would be pretty pricey if uh, they came up, so uh, rare opportunity to get into one of those, hope you guys really uh, enjoyed that as much as I did, I found several cards for the PC of uh, some classic players, so uh, very happy with those. I'll enjoy adding those to my uh, collection for sure. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think of the product in the uh, comments. I would really like to hear what you guys thought. If you'd ever seen it open before, if you remember opening it yourself, uh, you know, whatever your thoughts are on it, I certainly want to know. We'll be back tomorrow with Dorking with Dice. We do that every Friday on the channel. We get 20 vintage baseball packs and we roll a big pink D20 to tell us which of those 20 packs we get to open. Last week, I think we opened six, which is a lot. We usually only open three, maybe four. But I just went crazy last week. I couldn't stop myself. We pulled some great cards out of there. And I'll be adding a bunch of new packs to the Magic Box this week. You never know what's going to come out of there. So I look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow on the channel. And I hope you're having a great week. It's Thursday as I record this. And I uh, hope your week is going well and you're looking forward to the weekend. Again, I'll see you back here tomorrow, and as always, happy collecting.